Aha, there we go. Open. Just can't do that yet. Too easy. Should probably lock it again. We'll find the source of the propaganda. Ah, excellent news. I look forward to Wolf's report. Can I go to the upper district now? Well, let me see. You have at least one advocate, and you managed to find the source of the propaganda. I must say, I'm impressed. You officially have my permission to enter the upper district. 
through the first person I can send up there with a clear conscience. Still, you should see Rat straight away. He's going to want to talk to you. He's the only one who can initiate new berserkers into the faction. I'm sure when he hears what you have done, he'll accept you, or at least give you a reward. I'll see you around. I have some things to do, especially now that the upper district is open to more people. Where can I find Rat? Go to the upper district and tell the gate guard Lothar I sent you. He'll let you pass. You'll be able to see Rat's tower right away. Stop! The upper part of the fort is for honorable citizens or those with direct invitation from Warlord Rat only. You're not coming in if you don't have a good reason to be here. Fenris gave me his personal permission to go in. I'm the one who found the source of the outlaw propaganda. Getting rid of the outlaws? That was you? You better not be lying to me. I will check. Some guy just told me you gave him permission to enter the upper district. Thought we weren't letting civilians up here no more. Thank you for coming to me about this, but he speaks the truth. I did give him permission. He and Wolf found the outlaws who were distributing flyers around the camp. Huh, is that right? Well, I guess that's something. That mean anyone can go up there now? No. Only people on the list can enter. Anyone else needs an advocate. Right. Got it. I'll head back to my post then. You can come in. Just don't do anything stupid. What the hell? Careful where you're stepping with those big dumb feet of yours. You're a warlord? My name's O. Warlord Ulf, and don't you forget it, young'un. And if you even think about making trouble around here, you can expect a warm welcome from my Danya. Danya? Who's that? Your lady friend? Danya's my weapon, you goddamn idiot. So unless you're looking to get real intimate with her, stay on my good side. You hear? Duly noted. Jax, you say? Yes, my lord. Alone? It seems Wolf the Guard helped him. That is very good to hear. Very nice. Tell the guards the upper district is open again. Very good, sir. Here he is, the man everyone's talking about. Welcome to my humble home. It's so good to see you here at the fort. You remember me? Of course. I'm sensing you don't remember me, though. Let me help you out. In Logan's day, I was a nobody. Just another rat down in the dirt. It was you who helped me. Gave me the push I needed. When everything fell apart here, Logan and the other rats jumped ship. Not me, though. I was the one who stayed. I fixed the holes in the ship. And now, I'm the captain. But that was a long time ago. I suppose I can't blame you for forgetting me. This is what you call a humble home? You think because it's big it can't be humble? 
Oh, I disagree. My home is humble if I'm humble. And I'm definitely the most humble person in the fort. But anyway, what can I do for you, old friend? Fenris sent me to talk to you. You managed to get rid of that outlaw propaganda the claws were spreading. That nuisance went on for far too long. And to thank you for putting a stop to it, I'd like to give you a little money. Something to help you start a new life here. What's in it for you? What's that supposed to mean? This is a simple favor for an old friend. Take it or leave it. Keep your shards. I don't need them. A wise decision. Never go into debt if you aren't willing to get your hands dirty. But now that the upper district is open again, I have a few things to take care of. Unless there's something else you need. You got work for me? Well, you're a bit of a puzzle, aren't you? You won't take my money, but you'll take my work. I prefer to earn my shards. I can respect that. I've come across a prob... no. A challenge I could use your help with. What kind of challenge? I don't trust some of the individuals in the upper district. I try to look for the positives, but, well, there are limits. Two people in particular, Barrett the Trader and Ejnar the Trainer. Go and see him. Find out what you can. Can't be too cautious, especially since someone tried to kill me. A rat always has to make sure no one steps on him, and the bigger the rat, the bigger the danger. I need someone who isn't known here, someone who can blend in, who can be a simple worker or a merchant. And what exactly am I supposed to do with these two? Just talk to them, get to know them, find out what they're up to. Start bad-mouthing me. Difficult, I know, when I'm such a great guy. Just see what they say, see if they like being berserkers. I'm sure you can figure it out. I need to know if I can trust them or not. Is there a reason you can't do it yourself? Back in my day, I'd have taken care of them without a second's thought. But these days, Goliad is very clear on what I can and can't do. All you need worry about is finding out if I can trust them. Off you go. You're a natural. You'll be fine. I want to join you. Uh, that's what I like to hear. I can always use more muscle. But you should know that if you decide to join the Berserkers, you can't belong to any other faction. I demand complete loyalty from all my subjects. Can you do that? Do you still want to join us? Yeah, I want to become a berserker. Wise move. If you're serious about this, you'll have to swear an oath. But, as we aren't in Goliad, I'm free to change the oath to suit our purposes. Now, repeat after me. I solemnly pledge. I solemnly pledge. To take on my new duties as a cultivator. To take on my new duties as a cultivator. To protect the seedlings, watch over them as they grow, and to assume personal responsibility if they do not. To protect the seedlings, watch over them as they grow, and, uh, uh something about responsibility. <sighs> Close enough. Let's get to the important part. Do you pledge to remain loyal to the lord of this community? I suppose so. Just say yes, or we'll never get this over with. Yes. Will you follow his commands and never question him? Yes. Then I hereby declare you a member of our community. Take this armor to wear as a sign of your loyalty. Ah, it suits you. Okay then, we're almost done. Welcome into our ranks, brother. May the mana send red light to illuminate your path and blah, blah, blah. In Ragnar's name. Ugh. That 
still wasn't everything. You the new guy with the city watch? What makes you think that? I guess you're not then. If you're looking to learn how to fight, I can't help you. I only train people with the city watch or who have Fenris's permission. Good day. Ah, a new customer. I see Warlord Rat has admitted you to our ranks. And that is to your advantage. I have unique goods. I even have armor I sell exclusively to Berserkers. Of course, I'm only allowed to sell you things that correspond to your rank, so take a look around. Show me your armor. It would be my pleasure. Show me your armor. It would be my pleasure. Ravak's name, what are you doing? What are you doing? What do you want? Show me your wares. You got it.
How do you like it with the Berserkers? Huh. <sighs> By the Pilgrim's Beard. Rat sent you, huh? What? Rat? No. Nobody sent me. Oh, please. You ain't fooling me. You ain't the first sent to casually talk to me, like I don't see it. You even know why he's got a problem with me? Didn't think so. Let's hear it, then. I'm an emissary from Goliath. Ragnar sent me here to get equipment to the guards. Means I don't pay shit in taxes to Rat, and that slimy bastard can't stand it. He's dying to get dirt on me. Anything to get me kicked out of Goliath. He ain't getting nothing, spineless dipshit. So you go back and tell that ugly scumball that I ain't going nowhere. Fucking vermin. Lives up to his name. I've got some questions for you. If you're after a free lesson, forget it. They say you're working against the Berserkers. Is that true? You think I'm doing what? You're not denying it. What in Ra... the devil... What the hell do you want from me? You're not answering the question. I... Uh, well, uh... Lothar! Stop him! Stop! Stay right where you are. Explain to me why Ejnar is running from you. What did you do to him? Get out of my way. No. Not until you explain to me why our trainer is running from you. I won't ask again. I'm working for Rat. I was questioning Ejnar. He made a run for it, okay? Uh-huh. Anyone could say that. I barely know you. Do you want me to tell Rat that you're Ejnar's accomplice? Oh, shit. Fine. Just don't make me regret this. What do you know about Ejnar? Uh, not much. He's a trainer with the City Watch. What's going on here? Rat suspects Ejnar of being a spy. Apparently, he is. And I just helped him to get away. Damn it! What a mess. You have any idea where he might have gone? Nah, no clue. He's been here for years, but as far as I know, he doesn't have any friends. Maybe you could search his things. He lives just around the corner. Hey, I'm sorry I treated you like a suspect. I'm going to take off. Don't you have anything better to do?
So, that's all done. Lovely. Any questions? So these two, Barrett and Ejnar. I spoke to Barrett the traitor. Ah, what did she tell you? She says I'm not the first person you sent to spy on her. Oh, so she figured you out, huh? I'm gonna take a wild guess you didn't get anything useful from her. No results, no payment. You understand. Ejnar ran away when I tried to question him. Let's be honest. Anyone who isn't prepared to answer a few harmless questions has no right to be here. I want you to make sure he never comes back. And I mean never. Any idea where to find him? I found a book at his place. And that'll help with your search? The binding is made of human skin. Ugh, Morcon trash. Turns my stomach. Listen, there's a traitor who's under our protection right now. His name is Ivan, and as it happens, he's a Morcon. For some reason, he doesn't want to leave. Which might be just what you need to find that damn trainer. If you help this Ivan, maybe he'll take you to the Morcons. And then, if you're lucky, to Ejnar himself. Where can I get some new equipment? You've already gotten some. But I understand, you need matching leg pieces and a helmet to go with your new armor. You have to realize we can't go handing out stuff for free. Or we'd have nothing left. You'll find an armorer here in the upper district who's only allowed to sell to Berserkers. Go see him. He'll sell you everything your new rank allows you to buy. You should also go see Hala as soon as possible. Why? Hey, do I look like I could teach you anything about magic and all that hocus pocus? She set up camp at the guardhouse. You can't miss her. What happens now? Well, you're a cultivator now. Which means you have Cultivator's tasks to carry out. I'm sure Thorhild, Tylus, or Scrappy will have plenty to do for a new Cultivator. Talk to them. And now, get out of here. I have things to do. I need your approval to become a warrior. Hmm. So you're serious about becoming a part of our community. I'm not sure I know what role you'd fulfill for us. Let me think on it. In the meantime, please deliver this letter to Fenris. What's in the letter? Nothing that concerns you. Why? He lives just around the corner. Why? Because I asked. It's an apprentice's privilege to carry correspondence. A letter saves me time and effort. Unlike my interactions with you. A warrior must complete all kinds of errands. How about you start doing some now? As for me, 
I'm off to conduct a little experiment. The results of which will determine the future of humanity. So I'll need some peace and quiet. supposed to give you something. Hmm. This isn't the first time I've received a letter like this from Tylus. I imagine it'll be about special permissions and Alexa. Between you and me, he's not technically entitled to what he asks for, but he'll get it anyway. Why's that? His unique skills are the reason our people are still alive. He tends to anyone wounded in action, after all. Irritating him would not be a good move, and certainly not worth the shards we'd save. Besides, he's not getting any younger. We need him to pass on his knowledge. If a little extra elixir means he doesn't dig his heels in, then it's money well spent. So you can tell him I will honor his request. So glad I found you. Come with me, something's happened. It just happened out of the blue. What did? Tylus. He collapsed. I've had to put him to bed. This is bad. Real bad. I'm, I'm starting to fear the worst. Tell me what happened. Tell me everything. Well, I was supposed to wash the Alembics, and if I'm I wasn't as thorough as I should have been. Tylus gave me the job because he wanted to work on the Panacea in peace. He mixed a potion in one of the glasses that I suppose wasn't entirely clean. He took a sip, then a second later fell over. And now he's here. He hasn't moved. Isn't there a pick-me-up stem you can concoct? Nothing strong enough to wake him. There must be a solution. A solution? What's going on? Your eyes lit up. What if we create a mixture that will reverse the negative effects of the panacea? What do we do? All I need is to work out what ingredients he used in the panacea. Could take a while. If you want to help, you could get me the plants we'll need for our antidote. The troll route will be the most difficult to find. But for someone who wants to be a warrior, it shouldn't be a problem. About the antidote. What ingredients do you still need? In addition to the troll route, I still need a few flowers. Red and blue. And garlic. Lots of garlic. Try asking a few merchants, or maybe looking in the wilderness. Take this list so you don't forget anything. Where do I find troll root? It only grows in very specific conditions. Right now, I only know of one place. You have to go to Troll Island, in the border area between a terrace and Caracas. Troll Island? Yeah. It's not exactly an island, 
It's a place that attracts trolls. Seriously, they're everywhere. Trolls? More than one? Are you trying to get me killed? It is dangerous, yeah. That's why I'm sending you. Nobody else could do it. And how am I supposed to kill several trolls at once? Calm down. We don't know for sure there are trolls. And even if there are, you might only meet one. Oh, well, that's reassuring. You don't need to fight the trolls. Just bring me the plants we need, okay? If you have to kill a troll, that's just how life goes sometimes. Anyway, you don't have to kill. You could just distract. Distract it? These trolls, their brains are very primitive. If the wind's in the right direction, carrying distinct pheromones, they won't bother you. I could create some bait for you, but I'd need ten pieces of meat to do it. That isn't enough. I have the basic ingredients. Take another look at the list. There's something missing. Hey! Hey, come over here! Got anything to trade? Sure! I'm sure you've got something special to show me. That's how these deals work, right? Oh, I'm excited to see what you've come here with. So, let's talk Elix. Is that what you've got? about some beer? Eh, not really. I don't drink, and it isn't exactly worth much. But you know what? I'll take it. People always want beer. I do have something for you, though. It's pretty special. It's a little heavy, but you're gonna like it. Yeah, but you can't give this to me. Of course I can. Finding a buyer would have been tricky anyway. But I heard gold is used for electronics. That's got to be useful to you, right? It's more of a kind of thing for the clerics. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, there's this cleric woman, Vivian. She'll give you a good price, guaranteed. Don't go making any stupid deals, though. Sell it properly. Thousand shards, minimum.
Why didn't you sell the ingot to the clerics yourself? Simple logistics. These long journeys don't make great business sense. The return doesn't justify the risk, especially the risk to my life. Besides, I'm needed here. That's worth more than any deal. Can we do business again soon? Not just yet. I need some time. Relax, though. We're good. You'll see me again. We'll be doing business again in no time. So it's really This food leaves much to be desired. Yeah. 